Yo, what's up? This is your boy DJ Smooth. Um, how y'all doing, YouTube? This is for my folks uh, that want to learn how to do beat videos with the jumping head that um, I um, kind of created a little while back. I held on to the secret for a while. A lot of people asked me how to do it. Um, and now that I got a cup, you know, about a hundred of these videos out there, it's time to share. So let's get started. Let's uh, show you how I make beat videos. We're going to jump right in. I'm going to fire up some Photoshopage um, and we're going to basically cut out some, um, some heads and create the thumbnail and the raw images needed to do the jumping head uh, technique. It's, uh, it's really not all that difficult, but um, it just, it's, um, it just needs to be, uh, the work has to be done before, you know, you start creating, um, a video anyways. Um, now we're going to open up a new, um, project in Photoshop. It's 1280 by 720. That's for the thumbnail that we're going to create. And, um, uh, from there we're going to go and, um, let's see we'll find us uh, some um, art so we can do a few different things um, I like using um, newer art and one way to find it is to go into Google and search for something like um, uh, let's say 21 Savage Tune is, uh, is one way to look, look for these things. Um, and we've got some fan art here, 21 Savage. The, um, next step is just to kind of pick something that you want to use and get started on it so we're just going to scroll down here and grab something i like to use stuff that looks really good as uh as good as i can get it this is not the most photogenic human uh rapper um, no offense, homie, but yeah, I mean, whatever. So, uh, I found a tune head here <clears throat> and we'll move this out of the way, but let's, um, uh, let's drag and drop this into our project and we'll go ahead and cut it out. We'll use our, uh, magic wand tool. And let's see, we'll get in there. Okay, so now we selected all the white around there and whatnot. If you look, we've got the marching ants and the white in the eyes, so we can fix that with uh, hitting the contiguous um, function here. And from there, we'll go in and carefully click out the rest of this stuff. Now that we have the white sections, around the art selected let's uh, hit control shift i to invert this selection and then i'll hit control j which will give us a cutout head of what's going on and to show you what i mean by that uh control j cutting things out let's hit uh, a color here and just uh, hit alt delete and now we can see that we have um, a cutout of just uh, the 21 Savage head here. The next thing is to look for <coughs> some sort of background for this. And we can just look for like a Toon Mansion. 
I'm um, just kind of going. Um, it's not too bad. Um, there we go. That's something kind of cool. Um, except that there's like watermarks all over it, and usually that wouldn't be a big deal. Um, it's spoiling that particular image, so. Let's, um, take a look at this one here. This will be fine. Um, save the image. Fuck, it's a web P. Fuck do you do with a web P? Let's Simpsons home. Hmm, save image as, we're just going to use this guy, it's a JPEG, and, um, from there, we can, um, go ahead and drag that into the project, and, uh, use it as a background, um, grab a corner here, and size everything up, um, let's see. Um, let's grab a corner and stretch it out. Um, and there we go. Um, now the, uh, next step is to, uh, maybe add some grunge to it. Um, give it a bit more, um, dirt. So let's just type in grunge. And, um, we'll just go with this one here. Um, actually that's got watermarks on it and that's okay. Uh, but not really. Um, I like this one. We'll just save that image as watermarks get on my nerves, but they're totally, um, necessary whenever you're, uh, dealing with thieves like me. And, uh, the, the thing is about thievery is it's, um, it's totally legit. The fucking whole genre is built on it. So now that we've got this grunge here, um, then we can go to our uh, modes, uh, blending modes, and um, just kind of uh, select it and uh, hit the up and down buttons and see if there's anything that um, blends nicely with the project. So we got that. Last couple of ones cool. Um, this is pretty nice. The soft light is, is one I usually I use a lot. The um, overlay is also another one I use a lot. So in this case here, I'm just gonna use the soft light and Let's save this layer for uh, for the actual video. So now we got a background and we have a, a head cut out. The next step is to just to export these all um, properly. When you're dealing with a, a head, a cutout like this, you need to export it without a background. So you turn off all the other layers and you save this as a ping, a PNG file. So the PNG is right here, and what this does is saves it as, let's see, 21, 21 head. It saves it as a 1280 by 720 PNG file with no background. So now that we've got that, um, let's select this background here. We'll save this, Control-Shift-S as a JPEG, because it's just a flat background for the video. So save this as 21 Savage BG. 
and um, press OK. Now we can fire up After Effects. After Effects is a program similar to Vegas, which you may already be using, um, or Premiere. Um, After Effects is used for video compositing, which is precisely what this is, is compositing little pieces of video together, um, a lot like making a beat, you know, um, fitting pieces together into a um, a bigger picture. So with After Effects, um, you can find this on um, the Adobe website. It's um, it's pretty fucking expensive and stuff, but um, you know I I pirated this software to be honest with you. I'm not making that much money off of my music at this point. I'm just building my fan base. So um, I'm just going to tell you, like, do what you got to do. Anyways, uh, you can DM me on Instagram at DJ underscore smooth, S-M-U-V, DJ underscore S-M-U-V. And they, uh, I'll, I'll shoot you a, a link where you can find this pretty quickly. So we'll pick out a beat um, that um, has a lot of dynamic range here. And let's see. Um, just let's get something going here. Um, wine, roses, man, just, dude, grab something. <laughs> okay, um, we'll go with this. Um, so next thing, after you fire up Adobe After Effects here, the, f the project window um, is where you start dumping your property. So we'll go to Domo Koto here and drag and drop it up here into the project window. From here, I can take this wave file and I'll drop it on this little icon right here to create what's called a composition, a new composition. From there, um, we'll go up to the composition tab at the top. And as you can see, this is a short video clip, a uh, wave clip. This is not a good example. This is actually a sample um, collab piece. So it's unfinished. Big, heavy, short. We'll go with that. Let's drag that up in here to the um, project window. Again, we'll take that and drag it to the composition, new composition. And it brings it into our little timeline right here. All right, now this has got lots of content. I mean, uh, lots of bass, you know, um, this is perfect. So now that we dragged it in here, you notice that the timeline has gone from nothing to something. We got two and a half plus minutes of uh, composition time in our, in our timeline here. So this guy right here is, uh, is ready to go. We're gonna go back up here to the composition settings. I use 1280 by 720. Um, and I made a preset for it just because it's, um, creates a nice, uh, size file for uploading to YouTube and, um, 25 frames per second. Um, when you drag and drop into this new composition with the wave first or the MP3 first, it'll automatically set your duration time from um, the first piece imported into the project. Now, we close this out. Um, we've named it Big Heavy Short after the name of the, the audio file. And now um, we can right click down here on the timeline and in the um, um, area here, uh, right click the wave itself and hit keyframe assistant convert audio to keyframes all right what that does is takes this audio ll and makes a keyframe 
of every keyframe of the amplitude of this waveform. Okay, so <clears throat> every second there's 25 keyframes, um, and those are numerical values here that we use to manipulate things in the uh, playback. So um, I use, uh, if you hit this little down arrow right here, you can get into the effects and the transform functions, what have you. Hit the effects button and then hit the both channels function to leave that open. Next up is we can bring in our uh, composition um, elements for the video. Um, so let's go to where we keep those. Those are in art. Now we'll bring those in here and we'll grab the JPEG and the ping and drag them into the project window. All right. You can actually drag them right here onto this as well if you want to or uh, into the timeline. It doesn't really matter. Um, what matters is that you have this stuff like kind of pre cut out. Now, Remember our grunge file? Um, we can take our grunge file here and um, drag it in here into the timeline. And this is very similar to uh, the modes in Photoshop. Um, very, very similar. I want to make this uh, a bit more complex. So I'm gonna just grab a corner of it um, bring it down to size and then click on this one more time and hold down the shift button and use either the plus or minus keys um, at the top of your keyboard um, not over on the number pad and you can flip through notice the uh, modes very very similar very similar to um, Photoshop screen is good, um, but we also have um, soft light, pin lights, overlays. Overlay is really good. Um, overlay makes things um, interesting. Um, I don't want that that much dirt, but um, soft light is good. Again, we were um, taking a note of soft light on the Photoshop there. So now we have our elements in place. Now all we have to do is tell this head right here to jump to the amplitude, to the keyframes here. So in order to do that, we'll click the PNG um, file for this head and we will hit S. Okay, that brings up our scale function. And then from there, hold down the Alt key and hit the scale stopwatch here. All right. That's going to bring up a, a expression in um, the actual timeline here. And I'll show you how to custom make that expression right quick in just a second. So in order to make this head jump, we need to pick whip uh, or tie it to the audio amplitude keyframes here. So we'll go back to audio amplitude, hit the down arrow and hit the effects, hit both channels. And now from there, we're going to take and um, tie or pick whip this head to the audio amplitude. In order to do that, we'll take this little curly cue thing, click it, hold it down, and then drag it to the slider on both channels. Okay. Again, just hit the little pick whip and tie it to the slider here now you notice it brings up this uh, temp temp um, basically called a regular expression um, hit the space key then hit plus space key again left bracket 100 comma 100 right bracket okay now you can um, click anywhere in here 
and hopefully you won't have an error message here saying that you fucked up your regular expression writing. So that's it. Um, now all we got to do is just test and make sure it works. Um, hit the space key. And there's 21 Savage as Riley. And his head is jumping. All right. So now you can see that it works. Um, then you can drag in the rest of your composition elements. I have a few things that I've put together um, over the past month or two that uh, I use in all my videos. They're mini commercials, basically. So um, I'll show you a couple of other, like, quick tricks and stuff like that um and then we'll wrap this video up basically um i'm gonna go into beat compositions and i have these um these different elements that i use okay um i have th the intro okay that's got my particular uh tags in it we'll drag and drop that in there i use that at the beginning of all my videos um, and I tend to, um, I tend to use, uh, this on most of my beat videos. Um, for this, I like to fade out the, the, um, the audio that's in this particular piece it's uh easy to do you'll just hit the click the 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 actual item that you're trying to edit and then i'll hit um t now i'll just basically i'll just hit all of these here so you can see transform is uh and you see you have anchor point position scale rotation opacity and as you can see um these all do different things right um, scale, of course, makes it bigger or smaller. And then the audio functions down here. I like to um, fade it out, which I didn't do in the initial production. So um, I have it where um, it stops vibrating. Uh, and you'll use the, like the page up or page down um, buttons to uh move forward or backwards by one keyframe um i know this is not making a lot of sense to you but you'll need to watch some some other after effects videos to kind of get an overview this is kind of an advanced tutorial but either way i'm going to set a keyframe at full volume and then i'm going to hit the o key to bring me to the end of this clip and from there i am going to hit uh, click here and go minus 48 to make it silent and that's going to give me a fade out on the end of this so press uh space bar to press play all right so that's working um last couple of things is um overlay loops and um, things of that nature. Basically, an overlay loop is something like um, like you see the snow effect in people's videos. And um, I have like this simple loop here that I've downloaded um, and used on countless fucking videos. And you pop this in there on top of things and um, control sh control alt F will automatically resize it and fit it right into the window. Now, um, if you notice, it's completely blocked everything out. But again, if we go to our modes here and hit shift, um, select the layer you want to adjust the modes on and just hit the plus key, minus key, what have you. And now you can see uh, 21 Riley here has um, even more grunge and more things going on um kind of uh, see i kind of like the one we started out with but 
Um, that's neat. I don't know. And you see it's turned it opposite. So the whites are blacks and so forth. And that's from uh, the divide mode. I'm not really uh, going to go with that. But this is, this is cool. I'm just going to go back to... That's all right. Um, and again, you can um, just use your creativity here. For this um, video, I can hit the S button here for this little loop. And again, hold down the Alt key and hit the scale. And I'm going to show you how to uh, pick with this again. So we grab this little circle, run it down here to the slider on both channels. And again, space plus space, left bracket, 100, comma, 100, right bracket. And now our snow is jumping with the head. We have motion and um, it's kind of cool. Um, I actually think I want to put this behind Riley. And I can also edit the um, overlay loop here and tell it not to be as aggressive or more aggressive by modifying these functions, um, these two functions. One is X, one is Y. So I want to go and do 110 and 125. Uh, 120 and what is that's gonna do is give it um, stretch it in different ways basically the expression the regular expression that we're using here is uh, stretching it a little bit more in one direction than another um, and you can use this to change colors of things all sorts of things you can use the audio amplitude function um, to control on your videos. The next step um, that we've got is basically to uh, export this guy. So um, we're going to go and make sure we save this. Save as um, 21 Savage Beat Tutorial Video Thingy. Um, just save it for whatever you want. But um, the next step is to send this guy to uh, render. All right. So now that we've got the video, we've got all of our elements in place. Um, then we have to render um, the project into a file. The way to do that is to hit Control M. Control M is going to bring up your render uh, queue right here. Control M is not bringing up my render queue. So um, I'll just do it manually. And then from there, um, I uh, would say you don't need to use lossless um, and you don't need to export as an AVI because a three second, I mean a three minute video will come out like nine to 12 gigabytes. So um, in order to make this a one step process, um, After Effects comes with, um, usually comes with another program called um, Media Encoder, Adobe Media Encoder right here. So when you get your hands on After Effects, get the media encoder from the same year and uh, make sure you install them both. And um, from there, I can send this cue in AME to, to basically Adobe Media Encoder. Once I click this, all of these settings here are moot because it's gonna bring up this function, which is going to um, render this file as a finished file as an mp4 instead of a .mov because 
Here's the thing about After Effects. It doesn't export MP4s. It doesn't export FLVs. It doesn't export the cheap seat stuff. This is a, a heavy duty program. And once you start researching it and learning it, um, you will start seeing when you're watching TV or looking at ads on Facebook or Instagram that, oh, that was created in After Effects. Oh, that was created in After Effects. Um, because it's the only program that really does what it does. Okay. Um, anyways, uh, this should be bringing up my Adobe Media Encoder. I should have already had it running, to be honest with you. I apologize for that. But whatever. Um, these functions here, you can just render standard. Um, but you don't want to use AVI, so you'll hit this lossless tab here. And you'll want to drag it down to QuickTime, which is a .mov file. Um, and press OK uh, here. And um, then you can render it straight in here. Then you'll have to encode it again um, if you render straight in Adobe After Effects with this particular program. Or you might dump it into Sony Vegas so you can make it into an MP4 MP4 file. <coughs> so why not just have a one-stop shop? Um, now the next uh, thing here is a, a W Media Encoder is pulled up. It's got this queued, um, and the preset I use um, is typically the um h264 and inside of h264 um i can just use match source which basically matches up the source um with a adaptive high bit rate which is kind of like a variable bit rate, but you know, relatively decent quality. Okay, so adaptive high bit rate. Um, and then press the little green button up here. And what that's gonna do is fire up the render engine and it's going to skip the middle step. It's going to just output this as a .mp4 file ready to upload into um, YouTube. Okay, so this is rendering out. We're done with creating the jumping head videos. The uh, file is exporting and you'll just upload that to YouTube with your uh, cover art, which brings me back to our um yeah we need to um save this as a jpeg as a finished composition for our cover art so that we have a custom thumbnail you want to do custom thumbnails for every video that you upload you don't want to just pick a still from inside the video youtube doesn't like that they want certain things so we'll save this as 21 head to and save it as a JPEG and we'll use that to upload to YouTube um, after doing our keyword research and stuff so um, I appreciate you guys tuning in thank you so much um, like and subscribe if you uh, like the video and want more leave me a comment and let me know what you want me to do videos of I was asked um, probably a good hundred times to teach people how to make this jumping head technique um, public. Um, so yeah, let me know what you want and I'll uh, try and get your videos done for you as soon as possible. This is DJ Smooth. I appreciate you liking and subscribing the video, commenting, let me know that y'all appreciate the work that I'm putting in. Um, y'all have a good, uh, a good rest of your 2018. Peace.